Ghanaian veteran actor Van Veka has come out to blast member of parliament for Anya Suotu, who also doubles as the foreign minister and also minister for regional integration, Shelley Ayoko Botri, for some comments she made over the weekend against aspiring parliamentary candidate for Ayawaso West Wagon on the ticket of the National Democratic Congress, NDC, Mr. John Dumelo. In a statement, Madam Shelley Ayoko Botri stated that parliament is not for people who are into movies so then uh, parliament is not a place where you go and then it's like for babies for movie makers parliament is a place where laws are enacted to help develop the country to help move the country forward she was campaigning for lydia alassan who is also the parliamentary candidate of the mpp on that uh, ballot box contesting in the same constituency together with john dumelo the friction between lydia alassan and john dumelo haven't been the best in recent times last week we witnessed john dumelo who made an attempt to walk away from a political debate organized by tv3 and as i said elion van Vecca has come to lash out at the politician and let us listen to what exactly the politician said that is why she's been under a lot of backlash on social media All right, so you heard the foreign minister yourself making claims that parliament is a place for serious people and a lot of people in the creative art space took uh, the wrong way or read meanings into that statement but um, a lot of people were saying that she was speaking against people in the creative arts industry a lot of people were saying that no she wasn't speaking against creative arts industry she was speaking directly to ndc member aspiring ndc member john dumelo and then after van vika reacted over the weekend he took to social media's instagram page and also this was what he wrote he says that i understand that politicians say the dumbest things to score political points however this reoccurrence rhetoric that parliament is for serious people and the creative arts people actors and musicians are on serious people and should not go to parliament or by extension go into politics should end this post is not about npp or ndc it is about what the honorable shelly ayoko the foreign minister of ghana said about actors what she said to a colleague actor at john dumelo now all my creative art colleagues should be resentful at her utterance and demand an apology for what she said is indeed racist discriminatory and such bigotry shall no longer be perpetrated in dividing us as a people to put it mildly who is the unserious person is it the serious person who watches movies and listens to music made by the unserious person or is it the unserious person who compels a serious person to dance moves and recall movie scenes during conversations? Your guess is as good as mine. The class of my post is not about MPP or NDC. It is about pronouncements that can potentially cause chaos if one sees reason not to use ethnicity, religion, or race etc as a platform to galvanize people i opine the same reasons be applied to occupations if one wishes to apply the ad hominem fallacy during an argument then so be it because one will only 
have an individual to deal with but do not consciously pull in the hasty generalization fallacy because one will have the industry to deal with he goes on to say that madam ayoko you are one of my favorite ministers but the one thing you do not want is to have actors and musicians against you recall them so we are more popular than you to say the least and we are extremely serious people long live democracy long live ghana hashtag van vika hashtag the young godfather and also um van vika over the weekend said that Probably it could be smarter or is smarter than the Minister for Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration. The fact that uh, they are in the creative space doesn't mean that they are on serious people. You have serious people in the creative space as well. But Madame Ayoko Bochi was referring to John Dumelo, but because all of them happen to be in the creative space, they are all backing John Dumelo. Not only um, Van Vika, but a lot of others, the Air Force and then the rest, are also backing John Dumelo against the Minister's statement and also one other person who is in the creative arts space who's been defending the minister for regional integration and foreign affairs is Mark Okreku Mante according to Mark Okreku Mante he sees nothing wrong with the minister's comments on John Dumelo before I take that reaction from Mark Okreku Mante let me say a very big thank you to Dr. Amuzu Herbal Clinic. Dr. Amuzu is a penis doctor. What is wrong with your P E N N I S? Like, what is actually wrong with your penis, man? Just go to Dr. Amuzu, man. Get help from Dr. Amuzu. Is it erectile dysfunction? Is it early discharge? Is your penis shrinking? Like, on to me, boy, Juma. Yen to me, fro, bear my, to me, fro, could you papa, and to me, fro, mirror, on to me, way round to me, bubonra, baby, what he has, on to me, and chow on pass, massa, call Dr. Amuzu. Dr. Amuzu has branches all across Ghana from Sunyani to Tadi to Accra um, to uh, everywhere. Kumasi Club 600, Tafu, or what the beer Dr. Amuzu see. He has the cure to your problem, he has a solution to your problem. Please go and see Dr. Amuzu on that note. Let me bring you the reaction from veteran producer Mark Okrekumante. Why he says that he supports Shelly Ayokobuchi because he saw nothing wrong with the statement she made against John Dumelo. Me am Miss Sweetheart, uh, Madam Shelley Aikobuchi. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm Foreign Affairs Minister. Yes, Foreign okay. Affairs Minister. Okay. I'm say Oko Oko stage so kubwa anti Lydia serum. Ewo is legal. Ayaso. Ayaso. Ewo. Okay. And I'm Oko Kansa. And also, fortunately for her, you know, multimedia, she's just next two doors to us. Okay. Or any pharmacy, or any hotel, or anything. And now, and now, Oko Kansa. Um, Parliament is a serious business. Na and yes, why a movie? Uh, what could you see? I a pop plenty. I will say with my parliament. I'm obviously what I can say to your creative art for, but BT, you know, mm -hmm. first, you know, no social media, you say, only panel say, or say, you, you, because you are, you, it's a serious business, it's not for creative people. Mm -hmm. And I also said, mm, I know I honorable. So I could in her correctly, sir, or say. Parliament is serious business. Business, yes. And then you're dying. And then you say, what could you movie? Mm -hmm. And now we are seeing tea. Um, what now about popular? In mm tea, -hmm. to me. So the 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 okay, the import was on the popularity. There ain't no Okay, because there's a perception that John Dumelo is actually driving on the popularity. Into your boy John Dumelo Ekutia. Ekutia. Okay. Yes. And now it's John who has an anoka. Okay. John Dumelo who has an anoka. Yes. So no one. Okay. Auntie Lydia. Eh. Eh. Pray. Okay. Good. But some it's here because maybe some some bit now. Good. Yeah. And now on say, eh, John also lately he's done some interviews. Ah, I show the weakness in state governance and that's a political things. Iti. Eh. Utie. Uche sanyana. People think that oh, I can say it here. Creatives for, and I'm saying that we are more creative. Also, we acting why popular. Kujua upon chroma is from the media, which is also a creative space, and nobody speaks like that about Kujua upon chroma. Say we are weak, and now say we need no He knows what he's about. It is it is to just say there are people who have shown that they know what they are about, and I say oh short for being so baby can who say around this time it will be twenty hour. It is a no nebia. My men who say, Uti any interview in Yamakra on certain name on follow government and I say politics in Yamabia, but stand for MP.
All right, so that was Marco Kreku Manti defending the minister right there. And in one of Mark's statements, he, he, he also made a statement that actually the minister is someone who um, wrote or who goes out for the creative arts space and for the creative arts industry players. And then under no circumstance will she come out and say certain things against the creative arts people. And when he was being asked if the minister was right to say what she said and then he sees nothing wrong with the comments made by the minister or said no he sees nothing wrong with the comments he took his stand and then he said said no he sees nothing wrong with the comments the minister made let us um take a listen to this video as well she was the chair person for the manifesto writings the creative arts manifesto now 2016 she's actually she was actually the chair it would be a space it is, she does not devalue us in any way because I know creative at Yama Nia. Did he say on a kind of creative at a tourism minister? Yen Fanon Tunchain. Now say I call cabinet on our bill. Now parliamentary sense on my bread. It's a young guy who went to shed that near ye. On the can say no, 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 no. She has an interest. There be mark in today. Maybe because I am building a point. Yeah, I'm building a point. Uh -huh. On the can see and change. Uh -huh. No, Miss Hadden knows I have an interest in creative. I don't you know. I don't be sassy. What does that one got to do with statements? No, make good. Because the statement, you know. The statement, you know. Oh, see, what could you film? Who audio you now? What could you film? Why are you popular in tea? So the thing is on the popular. Man can't change some audio because why watch the chimu? Yes. Why are you popular in tea? You can come to parliament. Mm -hmm. It's of Felice because of popularity, which everybody knows that's what John is riding on. Mm -hmm. He said, Oh, you're popular. But popularity is not enough to work in parliament. That's mm -hmm. what she's trying to say. Mm -hmm. All right. So there you have it. The minister has been under a lot of backlash, as I reported early on. But Van Vicker once again has come out to endorse free SHS. Van Vicker is saying that he's not endorsing any political party. But I think free SHS has been one social intervention that has helped a lot of people, according to Joseph Van Vicker. If he had gotten that opportunity in his time, it would have been a guy colleges by now all the same he enjoys what he's doing he enjoys acting and all that but i really wanted to be a gynecologist but because of financial constraints he couldn't get the opportunity to go and pursue his dream vision and so let let's take this post once again from van vika where he endorses free shs he comes to say that this is not a political statement my name is van vika an actor a filmmaker an entrepreneur a philanthropist a businessman etc and i want to call a spade a spade the free shs program has enabled hundreds of thousands of Ghanaian youth to further their education it is not a perfect system yet but for the fact that an shs student dropout can return to the classroom for the fact that a jhs student can continue her so her secondary education for free is incredible i put a premium on education for all my story i would have enrolled at the university back in 1996 if the free shs program existed unfortunately it didn't my secondary education expenses depleted mama's savings so i kissed my dream of being a gynecologist goodbye my narration today is not to say i regret my current profession but rather to unequivocally state that the free shs program benefits our youth and only if that was implemented back in my day my mother would have saved enough to eventually fund my tertiary education this is not a political statement it is my empirism long live democracy long live free shs long live ghana van vicar as start the young godfather so in a political season we have barely five days to elections a lot of people a lot of celebrities have endorsed so many political parties but van vicar is saying that there's not an endorsement or anything it's not with the npp neither i see with the ndc but what he's saying is that as a Ghanaian, he is endorsing free shs he is for free shs so before you go tagging van vicar npp or ndc he has stated 
categorically that is not a political statement that is just this opinion that is just a thought so do not begrudge him if you hear or if you read anything about van vika and the news all right so that was van vika right there that's gonna page people subscribe to this channel on youtube gonna page follow us across social media facebook ghp news instagram at ghp news twitter at ghp page underscore com you can also visit our website www.ghpage.com my name is jepsam always your mc general are we best?